What is up, everybody? DZ here with Smoky Mountain Knife Works, SMKW.com. We're coming at you again with another blade steel. We're going to be talking N690. But before we get started, if you like this video, smash that thumbs up button. Subscribe to the channel and ring that notification bell so you will know when we drop new videos like this one. Now, without further ado, let's light it up. N690 is a Martin Siddick blade steel and is made by Bowler Udaholm out of Austria, who, interestingly enough, I found out, actually provides a lot of stainless steel for surgical equipment. Now, it first made a splash in the cutlery market in the early to mid-2000s, best I can tell, and has often been compared to 440C by a lot of people because of its chemical makeup, and uh, they're similar, but that's not really an accurate comparison, in my opinion, simply because similar chemical makeup is only part of the equation. As, as far as composition is concerned, it's made up of 1.07% carbon, 17% chromium, 1.5% cobalt, 0.4% manganese, 1.1% molybdenum, and 0.4% silicon, and 0.1% vanadium. So it is similar to 440C with the addition of cobalt. Now, to me, because of that, a better comparison would really be to VG10. And it has been very debated on what the cobalt actually does in a steel like this, as it is usually used in high-speed steels, uh, high-speed tool steels, to help with hardness at high temperatures. Um, so that, you know, with like end mills and drill bits, um, it will still hold that sharp edge um, as the temperature increases, uh, but N690 is not considered a high-speed tool steel. Um, so some argue that in the heat treat and tempering process that the cobalt actually helps to kind of create a uniformity in the steel's matrix. So as it cools, it adds to the toughness. It, it makes it more uniform um, across the steel matrix, uh, adding to its its toughness and durability. Now, when compared to VG10, it is not as good for edge retention. However, it is slightly easier to sharpen. Very comparable when it comes to corrosion resistance, and it really excels in the toughness category. Now, when compared to higher-end steels like its big brother, M390, N690 falls short in edge retention, um, but it is much easier to sharpen because of that. It's pretty close when it comes to corrosion resistance and toughness. Um, they're fairly comparable in those two areas. It's just the edge retention uh, when compared to M390 that it doesn't really hold up the same. But you're talking about two completely different steels, um, one much more high end than the other. The best part about N690, speaking to that, is that you can get a lot of the performance of a fairly high-end steel without paying the price of a high-end steel. Also, for being a traditionally made steel, it is very hard with its ability to be hardened to around 59 to 60 Rockwell. This blade steel can be found on many Viper knives as well as Kaiser's budget line, making those an amazing value. Um, also, uh, a new knife that we just started carrying um, has these, and that is our new Bradford knives. Um, and you can see this one up close right here. This is a really, really great value right here from Bradford. Um, that one is in N690, and many of our new Bradford knives use it as well as a multitude of other manufacturers um, because it is easy to sharpen. It's very tough and corrosion resistant. Now, is it good for you? I don't know. If you're looking for something budget, um, if you're looking for something budget-minded uh, that is going to hold up really well and take an edge really easily, then this is absolutely your bag. Um, it's a great blade steel if that's what you're looking for. Um, but that's up to you. All I can do is give you the information, and that is what we are here for. So let me know in the comments down below what you think of N690. Do you have a knife that you've used with it? Um, how has your luck been with it? Talk to us in the comments down below. Again, like, share, comment, subscribe. This has been me, TC, with Smoky Mountain Knife Works. And remember, if it cuts, like N690 does, we carry it. 
I don't, I don't have action. I don't have action. You clap your hands at me. You know what? <laughs> Football. Point four percent.